So let's say, hypothetically, you are planning on making a CVVC Utau, but you're not too sure where to start. And the tutorials you've seen on YouTube are, well, there aren't a lot. And let's say you somehow came across this video, the only tutorial you will need to learn how to Oto a VCV. CVVC, sorry. Either that or you really want to see me fail at Project Diva. I don't really know. Anyway. This tutorial will cover everything you need to know about otoing a CVVC voice bank for your Utau, no matter the language. Now, remember, this is my first tutorial ever. Will I make another one? Um, maybe. I don't know. So without further ado, let's play Project Diva. La 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 la. La 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 la. I'm assuming you know what a CVVC voice bank is, judging by the fact that you literally clicked on this video, but just in case, I'll provide a quick explanation anyway. CVVC, CVVC stands for consonant vowel vowel consonant. Um, I can't exactly explain how it's used in Utah, but it, it's on the screen. It's right there. Do you see it? It's right there. It's right there. Hey, sweetness. A lot of people don't seem to want to make CVVC voice banks mainly because they're intimidated by the complicated structure, even though it's really not that complicated, but you know. But what people don't realize is that CVVC voice banks might be one of the best and most smooth voice banks to be created. As a matter of fact, Vocaloids are typically recorded and configured in a CVVC format. I think the problem is some people don't exactly auto the CVVC voice banks correctly, which is why people tend to turn their nose upon seeing a CVVC voice bank. And you know, uh, not only are CVVC voice banks uh, smoother than most, but they also provide the user with a lot more flexibility. Like, you can do some amazing stuff using CVVC voice bands. Also, it is super easy to, to uh, record and configure. Can you count how many times I've said CVVC? Put your sneakers on! Setting up is quite easy. It is literally the same as setting up any other voice bank. You will need Oromo, the recording program, a, re a recording list, which will uh, be provided in the description. I'll put a couple in there. Um, your voice bank folder and set param for editing the auto. Links for all of these will be in the description, except for the voice bank folder. I would hope you have them already, but you know. <clears throat> um, if your voice bank is multi-pitch, just put the pitch folders in there. There's uh, tutorials for that, so I'm not going to bother with showing you. Just come back to the uh, video when you're done. Also, when choosing rec lists, I would recommend choosing one that comes with a base Oto. That helps a lot when Otoing your voice banks and saves a lot of time. I would also recommend recording with a guy BGM. The dun dun. Sun dun. Yeah, the sun dun. Came up, but we still up in London. After your recording, open up set param and load your voice bank folder plus your base hotel if you downloaded one. Now, real quick, let me explain what all this stuff means. The left blank is where your syllable starts, and the right blank is where your syllable ends. The overlap is the little or long space that plays before the note in question actually starts. I know that doesn't make sense, but thank god for visuals, right? There's there's no that. The overlap usually goes near where a transition starts, basically, you know. Now the preutterance is where the note actually begins. There's a difference, trust me, it's there. Don't think about it too much. And the preutterance usually goes where the consonant in your syllable begins. Lastly, the consonant is the thing that basically stops your consonants from stretching. I don't like how they're the same thing though, like the same name. But anyway, you just, you can tell the difference, don't worry. <clears throat> You always set the consonant to around the middle of your vowel. It doesn't matter where, as long as it's set after the sample's consonant. Now, when otoming your vowels, you want to set your beginning and end to where your vowel begins and ends. Then you want to set your preutterance and overlap near the beginning of the sample, and the consonant goes somewhere in the middle. Another part of otoming vowels are otoming the VCV samples. VCV stands for Vowel Consonant Vowel, and is used like this. Now don't worry, you only have to do this for your vowels and nothing else. When otoming your VCV vowels, put the left blank near the middle slash end of where your first vowel before your main vowel starts. I know that doesn't make sense, but then again, it's confusing, I know. Then put your right blank where your main vowel ends. Your overlap will go somewhere before your main vowel, and your preutterance will go at the start of your main vowel, like this. And then your consonant will go after your main vowel, like so. And that's really all there is to it for these vowels. It is not difficult at all. I think. I see you. 
open up. To start off, hard voice consonants, they are on the screen right now. These are the hard consonants and autoing them are pretty easy. To start off, the left blank goes before the sample even starts, right in that little blank right there. The right blank, as for every other, ev literally every single CB syllable, goes in the middle of the vowel. Simple. Remember that because that's the last time I'm going to say that. Probably. I don't know. The overlap stays pretty close to the left blank, also residing in that little blank there. The pre-utterance goes to at the start of the consonant, not the vowel. And you know where the consonant goes by now, I'd hope. Now what you're seeing is the same formula for all of the hard consonants that you previously saw at the beginning of this section. Remember that, please. And now it's time to move on to the VC otos for the hard consonants. As a reminder, the VC examples are on screen now. Look at that beauty. The left blank goes in the middle or near the end of the vowel, while the right blank goes before the consonant even starts, right in that little blank right there. Place the overlap near the end of the vowel and your pre-utterance with a little gap here begins. And that's really it for the hard consonants. Like I said, this is very easy once you actually take the time out of your day to learn this stuff. Just like I took time out of my day to make this. I hope you're happy. Basically, what we're gonna do is dance. Soft unvoiced syllables are the same as any other with only a few differences. The soft unvoiced syllables are on the screen now. Well, they've been on the screen again. When autoing them, set the left blank to exactly where the consonant begins and the right blank in the middle of the vowel. This is the same format for the soft voice syllables, so I'm not going to mention this anymore. Please rem remember this, I will cry. The overlap goes near the left blank as well, staying just a bit away from the left blank. The pre-utterance goes in the middle of the consonant, not where the vowel begins. And that's really it. Not much to it, I know. Now, soft unvoiced VCs are a little different than the hard VCs, but still very easy nonetheless. The left blank, as always, goes near the end or in the middle of the vowel. The right blank goes exactly where the consonant ends. Say your overlap near the end of your vowel and the preutterance where the consonant ends. And that's also it. Very short. If you spell applesauce with all A's, you'll get... Um, so... Soft voice CVs are like literally the same as the soft unvoiced. Uh, left blank where the consonant begins, right blank where the vowel ends, overlap to the middle of the consonant, and preutterance to where the vowel begins, and consonant to around the middle of the vowel. And like that's it, really. So I don't know why the section's even he in here, but yeah, the VC is the same as the unvoiced one too. Left blank where the vowel ends, right blank where the consonant ends, overlap in the middle of the vowel. Preutterance where the consonant begins, consonant in somewhere in the middle. <laughs> what do I have written down? Anyway, um, yeah, that's a quick section, but it's there. So, um, yeah, that was it for the CVVC autoing tutorial. I hope you find, I, I really hope you find this helpful. And if you don't, um, that's not really my problem. Go find an online tutorial or something. But um, if you made something with this tutorial, uh, definitely share it in the comment section, because I want to see that. Or, or don't, I don't really care. Also, here's a sample of my work in progress CVVC voice bank, just in case you don't trust me enough. Okay, yeah, that's all I really have to say. I hope you enjoyed my amazing Project Diva playthrough. Bye!